Preview. Hi, I'm Phil Lemper with the New Product Hits and Misses for the 10th day of August, 2011. Each week, we select five new products for review. Our reviews are not paid for, nor can they be bought. We start with the lowest score first. The miss is 75 and under, and a hit is 85 and above. And first up, Emerald Breakfast on the Go. Now, breakfast nut blend. You know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? Well, I'm not sure that a one and a half ounce nut granola mix that's 20 grams of sugar, seven grams of fat, and 180 calories and includes this very long list of ingredients. See that? Fits the bill. Who thought of this concept anyway? While breakfast on the go might be a clever branding, I hesitate to suggest that this is anything more than a sweet yet tasty snack. These are sold in boxes of five packs. I suppose for the five work days of the week, Retails for $4.19 for five one and a half ounce bags. Total score is 76. Cocoa exposed goji berry and lychee flavor. It's a hit. Now, we've been saying for a while that coconut water is in. Now, coconut water moves to the next level. So, somewhere up there. Coconut water combined with aloe vera, goji berry juice, and lychee juice. I know you're crinkling your nose, but it's actually very tasty. First, you taste the coconut then the aloe, then just a little hint of goji. Frankly, I didn't taste any lychee at all. At first sip, you might think you're drinking pieces of coconut, but it's actually aloe vera pulp, which has a very pleasant mouthfeel. One bottle contains just 60 calories, 14 grams of sugars, and the bonus, here it comes, 480 milligrams of potassium. Retails for $1.59 for 11.8 fluid ounces. Total score is 88. Goody Good Stuff Sour Fruit Salad Candy, it's another hit. Now, while this package might look like it's candy for kids, it would be a shame to waste it on just them. These candies may look like jellies, but they're actually gelatin-free and made with all natural colors and flavors. Unlike many other candies that put on their label that they taste sour, this fruit salad actually is and has a perfect blend between sweet and sour. It's made from concentrates of orange, elderberry, lemon, kiwis, and other fruits and plants. This really is good stuff. But use caution. It is candy, and seven pieces will set you back 23 grams of sugars and 121 calories, and that's about just a third of the bag also imported from Austria. Retails for $1.99 for 3.5 ounces. Total score is 91. Lint Excellence 70% Cacao Almond Brittle, it's a hit. Now attention all you chocolate lovers out there. Imagine a dark, smooth, flavorful chocolate, 70% cacao by the way, with a lightly sugared almond brittle inside. The balance between the brittle and the chocolate is perfect. Most enrobed chocolates have the filling overpowering or masking the chocolate. Not this one. They must have known that's just the way I love my chocolate. Retails for $2.59 for 3.5 ounces. Total score? is 92. Barber's Puffin Cereal Peanut Butter and Chocolate Flavor is a hit. I also love a little puffin there. Here's what I like about this cereal. Besides the puffin, it's nice and it's crispy and only has six grams of sugars and one gram of fat, 105 milligrams of sodium with three grams of fiber. Now, I know it's a breakfast cereal and I know too much peanut butter and chocolate sends a bad taste bud sign for kids, but I just wish it had a little bit more of both flavors. Having said that, I still think this is one of the best breakfast cereals that we've tested in a very long time. I love that on the bottom of the box, it lists all their specific benefits to the environment. Good company, good product. Retails for between $3.99 and $4.29 for 10.5 ounces. Total score is 97. New Product Hits and Misses uploads right here every Wednesday on our network online and on your mobile phone. Follow us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, or download us free on iTunes. For the complete product detail and information on today's products, just log on to supermarketguru.com.